This is BBC Radio 2. BBC News at six o'clock. This is Adam Porsett. Thousands of people in London have spent the day queuing for as long as nine hours to pay their respects to Queen Elizabeth II, who's lying in state at Westminster Hall. The queue is currently more than four miles long, stretching back beyond Tower Bridge. Hazel came from Bedfordshire to see the late Queen's coffin. She says the wait has been manageable. Sometimes it moves quite quickly, but other times when you are pausing to talk to other people, hear their stories and enjoy that conversation, it's been really worthwhile and really rewarding as well. I'm glad I'm here. More than 100 flights to and from Heathrow Airport will be cancelled on Monday to ensure the skies over London are quiet during a two-minute national silence. It will take place after the funeral service for Queen Elizabeth at Westminster Abbey. 2,000 people will attend the event at 11am before the coffin is taken to Windsor Castle for a committal service at four o'clock in the afternoon. Ukraine says the central town of Kriviryk has again been the target of a Russian missile attack a day after a bomb damaged a nearby dam. There are no reports of casualties. At a joint news conference with the Ukrainian president in Kiev, the European Commission president Ursula von der Leyen said the EU continued to back Ukraine. We will never be able to compensate what you do with your fight for democracy, for humanity, for the respect of the international rule of law but what we can tell you that you have your European friends by your side as long as it takes. China's President Xi Jinping has held talks with Russia's Vladimir Putin for the first time since the invasion of Ukraine. In public remarks, Mr Putin said he appreciated what he calls China's balanced position on the conflict, but admitted that Beijing had concerns. Mr Xi said China was willing to work together with Russia as great powers. Roger Federer, one of the greatest ever tennis players, says he's retiring from the game at the end of September. During his career, Federer has won 20 Grand Slam titles. Our tennis correspondent Russell Fuller reports. Roger Federer says he is aware of the capabilities and limits of his body and its message to him recently has been clear. He had been trying to return at the age of 41 after a knee operation, but instead will play his final tour event alongside Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray at the Labour Cup team event. Federer won 20 Grand Slam titles, an Olympic gold medal and the Davis Cup and was once world number one for 237 weeks in a row. And the weather forecast, a dry and clear night for most but cloudy in southwestern parts and a few showers on the North Sea coast. Overnight lows of 11 Celsius in London, 9 in Cardiff and Belfast and 4 in Edinburgh. BBC News, it's three minutes past six.